How cold can it get? It is an interesting query. You may have thought it was pretty cold last winter, for example. Or actually, maybe not with all the global warming going around these days. But you probably won't be surprised when I tell you it can get a whole lot colder than that. In this video, I shall constructively lower the temperature and go over the changes that occur by each temperature decreasing. I will use the Celsius and Kelvin scales because Fahrenheit is wacken unscientific. Our starting point will be 0 degrees Celsius, or 273.15 degrees Kelvin, which is the freezing point of water. This is the point the water molecules transit from liquid into solid on which the Celsius scale is based. The freezing point of water, however, decreases as the salinity of the water increases. Therefore, seawater will not freeze at 0 degrees Celsius. In polar regions with an ocean salinity of about 32 PSU, the water begins to freeze at 1.8 degrees below zero. On 3 degrees below zero lies the average temperature in the United States during the winter as measured between 2000 and 2010. Deserts during the night move away further from the sun and due to the dry air lose their heat very rapidly. Because of this, some deserts during the night can reach sub-zero temperatures. The average temperature of the Sahara Desert during the night is 6 degrees below zero. This is also the approximate freezing point of olive oil. Bromine, a liquid halogen, freezes at 7.1 degrees below zero. The maximum temperature for forming frost is 8 degrees below zero. The average winter temperature gets colder when you go higher north. In Japan, the average winter temperature lies at negative 9.2 degrees between 1981 and 2000. The highest temperature recorded on the South Pole near ground level was 12.3 degrees below zero at Amundsen Scott South Pole Station on Christmas Day 2011. On the other side of the Pacific, in Canada, the average winter temperature is 15 degrees below zero. Sunflower oil has an approximate freezing point of 17 below. And at 17.7778 degrees below zero, we reach the zero point of the Fahrenheit scale. And just short under that, at negative 18, we reach the recommended fridge temperature. In Finland and Europe, average winter temperatures drop to about negative 22 degrees. The lowest temperature record for Australia is negative 23, measured at Charlotte Pace on 29 June 1994 in the Snowy Mountains. And for Africa, the lowest temperature record is negative 23.9, measured at Ifrain, Morocco in 1935. Siberia is notorious for its cold and harsh winters, with an average temperature of 30 degrees below the freezing point. Negative 32.8 is the coldest air temperature recorded in South America at Sarmentino, Argentina in 1907. Chlorine, a gaseous halogen, liquefies at negative 33.9 degrees. And mercury, an exceptional metal that is liquid at room temperature, highly toxic and very heavy, solidifies at 38.72 below zero. Cold, but the further north you go, the colder it gets. Average winters on the North Pole are 40 degrees below zero, despite climate change. Negative 40 is also the intersecting point of the Celsius and Fahrenheit temperature scales. Skin may freeze almost instantly at or below this temperature. The coldest temperature, water has still been kept liquid while under supercooling is negative 48.4. The mean surface temperature on Earth during Snowball Earth around 650 million years ago is estimated to be a freezing 50 degrees below zero. On the moon, the average surface temperature is negative 53 degrees during the day, which is also the lowest temperature recorded in Europe, measured in Sweden. On Earth, Antarctica takes the lead in the coldest average winter, a whopping 59 degrees below zero. Radon, a radioactive heavy noble gas, liquefies at 62 degrees below zero. And on Mars, the average surface temperature during the day won't get much higher than 63 degrees below zero. Definitely a factor in need of considerance for future missions. The coldest officially recorded air temperature in North America is negative 66.1 degrees at North Ice Greenland in 1954. While the coldest officially recorded temperature on the Northern Hemisphere was measured in Oymyakon in the Saka Republic in 1933 at 67.7 degrees under zero. Raiden freezes at 71 degrees below zero. 
At negative 71.5 degrees is the mean surface temperature on the dwarf planet 1 Cirrus in the asteroid belt. The sublimation point of carbon dioxide to transit into dry ice is at negative 78.5 degrees. At minus 89.2 degrees is the coldest temperature ever recorded near ground level on Earth, near Vostok Station on Antarctica on July 21st, 1983. This is almost 90 degrees under the freezing point of water. Without protective clothing, your skin and your eyes will freeze almost instantly at this temperature. But while this was the coldest naturally occurring temperature ever to be measured on Earth, we can go much colder still. At 101 degrees below zero, chlorine freezes. And the heavy noble gas xenon at 108 degrees below liquefies. It then freezes at 112 degrees below. Common alcohol or ethanol freezes solid at 114.14 degrees below zero. The temperature in the clouds of the gas giant Jupiter is about 120 degrees below zero. The Jovian moon Io, which is under intense gravitational stress, has a surface temperature of about 130 below zero. The mean temperature in the clouds of Saturn is 139 below zero, and the noble gas of Krypton liquefies at 153 degrees below and freezes at 157 degrees below. The Jovian moon Europa has a surface temperature of 171.15 degrees below zero. Though it is expected that even at these temperatures, underneath the thick ice layer covering the moon, a liquid ocean has remained. On the Saturnian moon Titan, the mean surface temperature is lower at negative 179.5 degrees. At these temperatures, methane gas turns into a liquid, causing Titan to have lakes of methane instead of water, which is frozen deeply into ice by these temperatures. At 183 degrees below zero, oxygen, one of the most well-known atmospheric gases, liquefies. And the noble gas of argon liquefies at negative 186 and freezes at negative 189. At negative 196 below zero, nitrogen, the most abundant gas in our atmosphere, liquefies too. And then at minus 197.2 below is the mean surface temperature in the clouds of Uranus. We reach 200 degrees below zero. Below this temperature, only three gaseous and three liquid elements remain. Unprotected exposure to temperatures this low are instantly lethal to humans. Most chemical reactions have slowed significantly or stopped entirely, but even now we can go colder still. The mean temperatures in the windy atmosphere of the outermost planet of our solar system, Neptune, is 201 degrees below zero. At 210 degrees below zero, nitrogen freezes solid, followed by fluorine at 219 and oxygen at 223 degrees below zero. The mean surface temperature on the dwarf planet Pluto can get as cold as 229 degrees below zero. And the dwarf planet Eris, just a little further out, has a surface temperature of negative 231 degrees. On the Neptunian moon Triton, surface temperatures drop to negative 235 degrees below zero. And the light noble gas of neon liquefies at negative 246 and then freezes at negative 248, leaving hydrogen and helium the only gaseous elements left. When we reach 250 degrees below zero, conditions have gotten so extreme, any chemical reaction has nearly completely halted. Only two elements remain that are not frozen, but everything else is locked in solids. At 253 below zero, hydrogen 2 is forced into a liquid form, from where it then freezes just 5 degrees lower at 258 degrees below zero. Helium remains the only non-solid element. Deep into the outer solar system lies the minor planet 90377 Sedna. Its highly elliptical orbit takes it 936 times further from the Sun than the Earth. At this distance, its surface temperature drops to negative 261 degrees below, even though it only reaches this point every 11,000 years. This still makes it the coldest body in our solar system known. An even further object, identified simply as 2015 TG387, has a suspected surface temperature of negative 264 degrees. Not much further down the ladder, helium, the last gaseous element, is forced into liquid form at negative 269 degrees. At 270 degrees below, we reach the temperature of the cosmic microwave background, and thus the average temperature in the universe. 
At 271 degrees below zero, we reach the lambda point of helium. However, helium is prevented from freezing by its zero point energy. It transforms into a superfluid. At 272 degrees below zero, we have the temperature of the boomerang nebula, the coldest natural environment known. At 272.2 degrees below zero, every element is frozen. Chemical reactions come to a stop as the environment enters stasis. While it is obvious we are approaching the limit, we can lower the temperature a bit further still. At 0.7 kelvins, helium-3 and helium-4 mixtures begin phase separation. At 1.7 millikelvins, we reach the coldest temperature we can currently sustain in our laboratory over extended time periods. At 100 microkelvins, we reach the typical lower limit for laser cooling. At 170 nanokelvins, we reach the first artificially created Bose-Einstein condensate, an exotic state of matter that only occurs near absolute zero. At just 1 picokelvin, we reach the record lowest temperature artificially created. Lower still, at a mere 1 attokelvin, lies the Hawking temperature of supermassive black holes. And at 1 zeptokelvin, macroscopic quantum tunneling can occur. At 273.15 degrees under the freezing point of water, we reach the absolute zero. It's gotten so cold now. No single molecule or element can move. Free bodies are still. There is no interaction within or without a thermodynamic system. Everything has been brought to a complete halt. This is the lowest temperature limit of any thermodynamic temperature scale. Our concept of temperature is really more the amount of vibration in a particle. For an ideal gas, temperature is proportional to the average kinetic energy of the random motions of the constituent particles. Both enthalpy and entropy equal zero. Each and every particle has a minimum vibration, only retaining the motion given by zero point energy. So cold, no actual physical system or object can ever retain a temperature of absolute zero. This truly is the coldest it can get. Temperature really is a large scale. As cold as negative 273 degrees may sound, believe me when I say it can get much hotter than 273 degrees above zero. But that is a subject for another video. This has been Yiji Science and thank you for watching.